So Wednesday's antitrust hearing in the United States was a rare political spectacle which saw four most powerful men of the world of tech being grilled at the U.S. Congress. But while some of them disagreed on most issues, all four tech titans had one argument to make. All of them agreed that breaking up U.S. companies would open the door for China to dominate the global tech world. Now, all the tech titans emphasized on the point that their companies are by America and for America. But all of them remained divided when asked about whether China was stealing data from U.S. companies. Now, before we tell you more, listen in to what Tim Cook, Sundar Pichai, Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg had to say. I have a question for all four, uh, yes or no answer. Do you believe that the Chinese government steals technology from U.S. companies? Start with Mr. Cook. Uh, I don't know of specific cases where we uh, have been stolen from uh, by the government. Uh, Congressman, uh, uh, I have no first-hand knowledge of uh, any information stolen from Google, Mr. Cook. And I have heard many reports of that, and I, I haven't seen it personally, but I've heard many reports of it. Uh, Congressman, I think it's well documented that the Chinese government steals technology from American companies. Yeah, thank you. Now, while others were seen evading the question, perhaps it was only Mark Zuckerberg who was willing to speak out a little bit more on this issue. The Facebook CEO confirmed that China, in fact, was stealing data from U.S. companies. But when asked about what could be done to protect the information better, none of them had a response to it. Now, the issue of forced labor in China was also raised during the hearing. U.S. lawmakers remain extremely concerned about Amazon's allowance of Chinese counterfeit goods on its marketplace. Now, according to the Congress, nearly about 80 global companies that sell on the Amazon marketplace have ties to Chinese factories that use enslaved Uyghur Muslims to produce their products. The Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos had no con concrete answer to this again, but all four of them agreed that they will work towards prohibiting the use of forced labor in manufacturing the products that are sold by them. They even went ahead to state that the sale of such products will be barred on their respective platforms.